Welcome back to Colossal Analysis, everyone. My name is Mikey, and today I'm kind of doing a special review kind of for you guys. This is the first time on my channel that I'm reviewing something that I have not seen. Want to introduce yourself? Christy. This is my mom, and she went and saw what to expect when you're expecting, and so she'll be doing the review. So I'll kind of be interviewing her, and she'll tell us how it is. So, can you give us a kind of a general idea of what the plot is? Because, I mean, if you look at the trailers or what I thought it would be, it seems something like Valentine's Day or um, New Year's Eve where it's a lot of different couples and the story kind of goes between them all. Pretty much. There were several different scenarios. You get, like, a young gal hooking up for the first time with a young guy they haven't even been on a date. They pretty much just find themselves together. She ends up pregnant later. It's like a one-night stand. It, pretty much. Um, then you've got, you know, uh, a couple that uh, the woman is infertile, they've tried everything, she's not going to be able to have kids, so they go for the adoption. And it's kind of like a Angelina Jolie, Brad Pitt scenario, if you will. Okay. <laughs> so you got that going on. Then you've got um, a, a dentist whose wife is, is kind of a snot. She's running this mommy kind of store, and she's wrote a book on breastfeeding and all this craziness and she's trying to have kids but they're almost giving up and then she finds herself pregnant well at the same time his famous race car rich dad who's hooked up with a a wife that's uh younger than he is she finds out she's pregnant and and they're gonna have twins and um this, so there's this, that scenario sounds a lot like a soap opera pretty much so you got that going on and then you have uh Another one where there's this big macho guy who, you know, everybody looks up to. He's the muscle guy. And he's single, no kids, travels around the world. Um, you know, and, and he finds himself toward the end of the movie with a, like, a two-year-old daughter that's, you know, he's going to have to help raise. And, okay. You know, so you've got that. As well as, you know, kind of all these plots in between. You do have this one where uh, this actress is playing a similar role to something like Jillian off of Biggest Loser, where she's, you know, this weight loss star, and she finds herself pregnant by her dancing boyfriend who's on a reality show, kind of like Dancing with the Stars. And, okay. Um, so, you know, you've got the, the rich and famous and what they go through, and now they're always gone and busy, and, um, and then you've got a couple others that are just the average folks that are, you know, pregnant. Like the and, regular day yeah, family. Yeah. Okay. And you got, you know, some other things that happen, like one instance where you've got... Um, the, the, the two young people that hooked up, she ends up early on having a miscarriage. And so you see that sorts real to life. Um, then another one, when they're actually having birth, um, the dentist and his wife, she ends up having to have an emergency C-section and she loses a lot of blood and it's touch and go if she's going to live. And so you have that going on. So, I mean, it's a lot of stuff that's real to life. But also kind of a lot of comedy because there's a lot of nutty things going on. So it's kind of takes every situation that you can have in a pregnancy right, and puts it into it. Right, And all the stress that the couples go through and, um, you know, the married ones, the single ones, the, where the friends come in. And then, of course, you have the daddy club. Right, yeah. yeah I mean, the daddy club, that's, um, that's where Chris Rock comes in. I mean, just amazing. So, you know, you mentioned that, like, all the different scenarios that a couple goes through. But what about, like, somebody like me who, you know, who doesn't have kids, you know, he's not expecting a kid right now. Somebody that just kind of going in there, will they still be entertained? Or is it mostly geared towards, you know, parents or expecting parents, something like that? I think that's where the daddy club comes in. Because okay. the daddy club is humorous. You've got all these dads that have these young children under two. And basically what, what happens with them is they want to get away from their spouse or significant other. They meet at the park. They walk. They've got the kids in the buggies and in the little pouches. And, <laughs> uh, and I mean, just that's where Chris Rock's at. Right. And... Uh, and then so the macho guy that I told you, you know, has the, the two-year-old daughter that he finds out about later. I mean, just, it's just funny because they're talking about all these crazy things that their wives do. Like one couple, um, the guy's saying that the wife named their kid some hideous name. I can't even remember the name. But he changes the kid's name to Henry when they're walking. Well, later in the, in the movie, 
the, the wife finds out that he changes the kid's name because he's embarrassed about the real name, like Henri or something like that. Right. And so you've got those kinds of humor going on. Chris Rock, he's, he's the one with four kids under two. And he's got this wow. one little kid that's is walking around that, I mean, all these crazy things keep happening to Like he gets hit in the head with the, the beer can and, I mean, <laughs> the, falls down the steps. And they're talking about things like... Uh, dropping them off of baby changing tables and yeah. and one of them pulls up in a van that he's got like a baby changing table that you could lift 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 open the top and it's like a beer cooler and, oh nice I mean so yeah. they you know they hide things and and that's where the humor comes in and then I think the there's some more humor for just about anybody that as the couples are going through these pregnancies um, things like the one lady's got gas all the time. So, I mean, the guy's making fun of her because she's like, stinks. And I mean, it's just funny. And so, so there is roaring. stuff that everybody right, can pick up right. on. All right. So, you know, and this has been out for what, like two weeks now? Yeah, something like that. And I, I mean, I went to like a five o'clock show. So, you know, kind of middle of the day. And it was it was almost packed. Okay. So I mean, it's still you know pulling in some people in it. Yeah, I think last week it was still in the top five, yeah, if I remember right. And so, you know, you mentioned the daddy club and all that. And I remember one of the earlier trailers for this movie. Uh, it showed a lot of the Staddy Club. And now, you know, looking at that, I thought, is this just a gimmick to get more male viewers? Is it... Because the scenes, it looks like they're all in the park, which you mentioned. Yep. Now, is that only a one-time thing? Oh, no, no. It's throughout so it's the entire throughout movie. The entire oh, movie. movie. oh, yes. Because I thought yeah. they were using that as a gimmick to get, you know, no, more no. male viewers. It's throughout the whole movie, and, you know, uh, about half of the Daddy Club are... Uh, you know, they're, they're somehow connected to these people that are now going to be having children, you know, with the guys, their cousins, their friends or whatever. The other thing is, it's kind of like that, that old saying, what stays in, you know, what we do in Vegas stays in Vegas. Well, it's kind of the daddy club. You know, so like fight club. Right. What they do in the daddy club doesn't leave the daddy oh, club. Never one of them out. betrays, one of the dads to be betrays the daddy club and so, uh, exiled, you know, out of here. First rule of daddy club. We don't talk about daddy club. Yeah, yeah, pretty All much. Right. It, it's hilarious. And I mean, Chris Rock, I mean, you already know, just humorous, right. humorous. Yeah, I'm a fan yeah, of Chris yeah. Rock. Yeah. So, you said a lot of stuff that you liked. Was there anything that stood out that you didn't like, that just didn't stick with you? Or, like, didn't fit with the plot, was not necessary? No, really, the whole thing, I mean, it just flowed really well. It was, uh, a lot of it was, like, similar to real life. You know, like I said, like, Angelina, Jolie, Brad Pitt thing going all on. All the different you know, scenarios right? are you know, all It's just funny things. because they're adopting somebody from Ethiopia. And there's one part of the, the movie where the boyfriend, uh, they've got the lady that's kind of from, like, um, child services or whatever that comes over to inspect the house and ask them questions before they can have approval to adopt this baby. And he, he, she's like, well, you know, what made you decide you want a baby from Ethiopia? And he's like, you know, starts talking to her. And then all of a sudden he's like, because there was no more white kids. Oh, right. And I mean, it's just like, oh, busting out in the theater because, you know, it's yeah. like, oh, wrong, wrong, red flag. But, so they, they push yeah. the limits on the comedy yeah. then. It, it is funny. Oh, okay. Yeah. So have you seen the show before? Like the classical analysis you've seen, were you aware of what we do? Yeah. All right. So we do the 10 point system. Yeah. What would you give it out of 10? I'd say an eight and a half. Eight and a half? Yep. Yeah, All right. Good. So, yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good rating. Anything else you want to mention about it? No, it's just it's a really good show. Everybody should go see it or at least, you know, catch it on DVD when it comes out. Um, just, just funny. If you want just a down-to-earth humorous, you know, and, uh, you know, some of it's serious. Like I said, the one couple loses their baby early on, and, and they kind of go through that whole they never dated, but later in the end they get together, and, you know. So, so it's a well-balanced yeah. mix of comma, dramedy, you know, yeah. like everything. All right. If you enjoyed this review, please hit that subscribe button above our heads. Leave us a comment. Leave us a rating. We really appreciate it. My name is Mikey. Christy, don't forget to catch Madagascar 3 in about two weeks with Chris Rock. Oh, cheap plug. <laughs>